first step is getting started. I wish they weren't my favorite leggings, you guys. And that's a chicken onesie and that's a Christmas onesie. Okay, hear me out. Just, just hear me out. Okay, this already feels so good. That amount of t-shirts you can't even wear in a week. But we're doing well. I am shocked. Hello everybody, it is Ningle here and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing super, super duper well. I'm feeling mixed about how I'm feeling. I'm excited for this to be over with. I know that once I get started, I'll have the momentum, but this is something that I have just left for far too long and I've left it for long enough for it to feel harder than it actually is so i've just continued to leave it because the longer i leave it the harder i it just builds up in my brain you know but i hope this serves as motivation to you guys if you guys have been putting off a clearing out task a closet declutter a house declutter maybe you can put this video on and we can just do that task together the catalyst for this task was honestly it started around christmas time santa completely spoiled me at christmas and got me so many cute outfits Outfits and clothing items that I have for the past few months been absolutely loving but I knew I wanted to do a like Christmas slash first month of the year clothing haul it turned into the first month of the year like a comprehensive clothing haul because I didn't end up doing the Christmas one you know so I <laughs> kept getting like pushed out but now this is what we're dealing with I pulled a couple items from the hamper and also some items that have just been stacked up over here and this bench is our catch-all bench in the bedroom it's just it's just what it is you know this originally just held the Christmas items that I got for Christmas because in order to put them away I needed to do a bigger like closet clean out because I don't love adding quantity to my wardrobe because I can already see some pieces that I didn't wear in the last year that I can replace with items that I absolutely love from Christmas or the past couple months. So instead of adding to it, I like to make sure that I do a declutter before I add any amount of clothing to my closet. That includes my sweatshirt basket up there. Also, maybe we'll get into that one too. This is like seasonal items. Like I put my shorts and stuff up here when winter hits and that's a chicken onesie and that's a Christmas onesie. We're not getting rid of those, point blank period. So there's the closet and then there's drawers that also have clothes that I want to go through. But before we get into that, I'm not gonna go through every single clothing item that I accumulated between December and now, like mid-February. But I definitely wanna show you guys some honorable mentions that I have been living in this winter and I know that they're going to transition me into spring as well. And if they're still up online, I'll leave a link down below. And if I show anything, in this video that you're wondering if there's a link for, just let me know in the comments and I will try to find it. I did indeed just wipe down my mirror for this. It's the cleanest that it ever has been and probably ever will be until the next clean out. But the first item that I need to show are my absolute favorite leggings of all time. I wish they weren't my favorite leggings, you guys. I wish I had found better ones or exact dupes on Amazon for these. I found some that are pretty close, but when it comes to picking out leggings for the gym, it's it's going to be these every single time. These are the Lulu Align leggings. Again, I do wish I liked other ones better. These are just the best. I got a new pair for Christmas. I had only ever owned one other pair of Lulu Align leggings and they were looking rough. I think they were between two and three years old. So I have to mention these. They're my absolute go-to. But I'm afraid I'm gonna wear these out really fast because they're my only pair again. So we're just gonna run them into the ground and then we're gonna get another pair. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you're not surprised at this second item, but it is this bralette, this high neck bralette from Airy. I don't do a lot of jumping or biking or just high intensity things in the gym ever. I prefer my lifting and my walking. So this is absolutely perfect. It's perfect for lounging around the house. It's perfect for under sweatshirts under fit like literally everything it is double lined so it's got that extra added support and I have it in two colors and I might get it in a third because I just I love it so much next up I got my favorite lululemon cropped sweatshirt it's called the scuba sweatshirt and I get the non hoodie version this just 
goes up kind of like this if you want, but it can go like this if you fold it down. And it's the same sweatshirt you guys just saw me in, the peach one, but Santa got me it in this neutral taupey color. So it's my absolute favorite. This outfit is just go-to, absolute go-to. Next up, my brother got me an airy gift card for Christmas and with it, I picked up these leggings. These leggings, I don't know the very exact name of them. I feel like they're like the real me offline, like they're, I don't know, I just know them by the picture of the model that they use on the website for these specific style of leggings. They are so incredibly soft. They're the perfect in-between between really loose, comfy lounge leggings and like workout leggings that are a little less comfortable to just lounge around in. So they make for the perfect lounging around, but still cute leggings. My first ever pair of these leggings, I got in black and they now have a hole in them. They're like three years older or so and I wore the absolute crap out of them. I have their green pair and now I have this pair because I literally am obsessed with them and I hope they never stop carrying them. I feel like none of these items are coming as a shock to absolutely anybody who has been watching my videos but next up is this crew neck sweater from Free People. What I love about it is the neckline is a little bit wider and so I like to wear a bralette underneath it for that look or if you don't want to wear a bralette under it it's just a very fun slouchy vibe. It's got this giant pocket detail here. It is, a, you could wear it as a dress. And it's just so incredibly simple. I love it. It's slightly distressed on the sleeves and I actually really like that detail. And I wear it so often. I wear it too often. I should wash it more. This was in the laundry though, so be proud of me. Are we sensing a theme here? Comfort, cozy, neutrals, a little pop of color maybe. But this pullover was also bought with the gift card that my brother got me for Aerie. Actually, this whole outfit was. But I was so pleasantly surprised by the sweatshirt. The thing about Aerie is sometimes you can't really tell how long something is gonna be on you and where it hits me is a make or break when it comes to feeling cute but also cozy at home. But I'm absolutely obsessed with this. The neckline detail, just a little bit added. We've got some side ribbing going on, you see that? And that carries through to like the bottom seam as well. And it's just plain, it's perfect, it goes with everything, and it's like an oatmeal color, which is adorable. Next up, I got a pair of brown leggings. I like these ones and the airy ones because they're different enough, and they're a pair of neutral leggings. And I didn't have any of those, I always had black or colored ones, so I really like these. These are from Free People. I've been eyeing their Good Karma, I think they're called Good Karma leggings. Ever since since last Christmas when I got the Good Karma, it's like a one piece spandex suit. It's outrageous, but I love that thing so much. It's so cute, I love it. But I wanted their leggings because I loved how that one fit. The only thing I would say is I actually would size down. I think I got a medium or an ML because they do like slash sizing. And I actually would do like a small medium and I'm usually like a solid medium. But you can see there's just like extra fabric in places and this gets a little loose as I wear it when it's like out of the wash. It, there's like some gapping sometimes because it's just a little bit big. But other than that, I love these. They're adorbs. I feel like this set can just speak for itself. I already had the pink one that I got for myself. But what did I get this for? I think it was a procedure prize of sorts. I've been eyeing it for ages. I was sad. I think it was after our first failed transfer and Jack was like, you know what, freaking treat yourself. And I was like, you know what, I will. And I don't regret one bit. So much so that when my mom was asking for any ideas for Christmas presents, I was like, this set in a neutral color. And she absolutely delivered. It's incredible. I will leave this link it's a free people set and all of a sudden you've put in zero effort but you look very put together and very comfy. I wore the pink one to my family Christmas party that we do every year because we do like pajamas and stuff for it and I got so many compliments on it. It was just like such an easy cute outfit. Me and one pieces man, you honestly can't go wrong. I got this Free People one piece for Christmas and I love it. I love the color. This stage color is adorable. I don't know if I would pair it with this bralette. I've paired it with the Happiness Run Square Neck crop top that Free People has and it's just like goes a little lower and it just looks a little better, but it's freaking cute. This with a little pair of slippers. I kind of feel cute running errands in it. I definitely feel cute lounging at home and it's minimal effort once again. It's freaking adorable. Oh, and pockets. 
can't go wrong. Okay, hear me out. Just, just hear me out. This is a sweatshirt dress from Free People. It was a surprise honorable mention because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna love it when it was on my body. Is it gonna be too cold? Is it gonna create a draft? But the answer is no. Would I wear this to the store? No, it's not meant for that. But do I absolutely freaking love this thing? Yes. I love the details, the pocket, the buttons, the collar, the massive side pockets that I have here. And it's freaking warm. Like I'm, I'm breaking a sweat in here after trying all the other clothes on and finishing with this one. If you're looking for absolute maximum comfort level, you can't go wrong here. You just can't. My dad laughs whenever I put this on around him, but it's only because he's extremely jealous. <laughs> all right, so the thing is, before we can put all of these items away or even sort through some of this stuff, like that's a duvet cover that we have to put on a comforter, but that's just too big of a task. <laughs> but the first step in finding places for these items will be going through the closet, going through the drawers, and just being brutal. Like if I have not reached for it in the past year, I most likely will not reach for it this year. And I do try to do this every year, year and a half or so. So there's not maybe going to be a ton of stuff that we give away, but famous last words. The first step is getting started. Let's start with this bottom drawer here. Okay, this already feels so good. So this is giveaway. I had to try on a couple of things just in case and that's when this dress came in handy. So easy to just slip things on to see if they fit. But over here I have the leggings that I'm gonna keep. These are Amazon dupes or someone told me they were an Amazon dupe for the Lulus and I do really like them. Are they an exact dupe? No. Do I still love them? Yes I do. So I'm keeping one of the pairs and then this is a pair of airy leggings that I probably should give away. But I put them on the other day and and I really liked them paired with a sweatshirt or something. So I think these are getting new life. And then these are the olive version of the airy leggings I love so much that I showed you today in that brown purpley color. And then I have one pair of fleece lined leggings for when we're doing just outdoor activities. I don't wear them like all the time, but I reach for them every single time I know we're gonna be outside in the winter time for an extended period of time. Over here, this is the Good Karma Free People like one piece, freaking adorable. So I'm obviously keeping it. I've got two pairs of biker shorts or three pairs of biker shorts and then three pairs of like loose Nike-esque running shorts. And then here's my sweat shorts that I'm keeping. I've got two pairs of sweat shorts and then a pair of comfy joggers underneath there. A lot of stuff is in, where is it? It's in the laundry, but that means that I've worn it like recently. So I'm not worried about going through that stuff to see if I want to give away anything. But already just these three piles in there, those are jeans that I tried on recently that are staples for me. So I know that those are to be kept, but this is gonna look so empty in this drawer right now. With space to freaking spare, this feels so good. Okay, let's take care of the rest of the drawers. I think this was the biggest paring down and I'm starting to question if that was a good idea, but I should not have been holding on to some of these t-shirts for as long as I have been. I haven't reached for them. Their necks are either stretched out, there's holes in them, or I was keeping them for sentimental value, but have not given a thought to them, like at all. And this is what I'm left with. I also took into consideration just what my style is now versus when I wore these t-shirts before. It's always good to have like ratty, like oversized t-shirts. But I found that I have slowly been replacing stuff like that in my wardrobe with like comfy and oversized things. This is so funny because you can see me like right there. But I found that I've just been replacing those old ratty like oversized things because I wore them for comfort with slightly elevated or cuter things that I feel cuter wearing that are just as comfortable. So it seems that I'm going to be needing a couple tank tops this summer because I'm left with three. These are also just like, workout lounge stuff. This is, that's what that drawer is. But I'm left with this amount of t-shirts, which let's be honest, like that amount of t-shirts you can't even wear in a week. So if you think of it like that, this is more than enough t-shirts to have in your 
wardrobe. I took a little bit of a break. Jack made me some lunch. It was delicious, but I went through these top drawers, which just has bathing suits, socks, underwear, and bralettes. I I think I could have pared down my bralettes a little bit more, but to be fair, it hasn't been summer in a minute. And at the gym, I like a little bit more support in the summer because I'm not wearing like sweatshirts and stuff like that at the gym. So I'm gonna give it another summer before I get rid of a couple more of those potentially. But I added to the pile, there were also things like camis and stuff that I just do not wear those anymore. And I've got a bathing suit up here that I haven't worn in ages. Next up, friends, the closet. When you get going, I'm telling you, this goes by so much faster and you can get done so much. But it just feels overwhelming, you know, at first. Over here, these are two things that I'm absolutely keeping. These are my American flag overalls for 4th of July and my Udi. I have an avocado toast Udi, which is like the cutest thing ever. It's basically this what I'm wearing, but in like a cute little pattern print that I like to wear in the winter when I'm gaming. My first thought was to just pull everything out and sort from there, but I actually can just go through and pick out things that I haven't worn in a hot minute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. It feels like less work that way. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about that. It was pretty easy to pick things out that I haven't worn in a while or just like are no longer my style. I am a little bummed at getting rid of this, but I simply have not reached for it in so long, but it just brings a memory. It's this like sweater that I got from my very first Primark trip. Hold on, I'm trying to show you guys. It's just this wide like Sherpa like sweater, shirt, whatever you wanna call it. And I got it at my very first Primark trip when Primark came to the US. And I believe they're still just on the East Coast, but I could be wrong about that. But I was obsessed with Zoella back in like 2016, 2017 or so. And Primarks are all over the place in the UK. And she used to do these massive Primark hauls. And this was part of my first one that I did on this channel actually. And I looked up to her so much and I was like so excited to shop at the same store. But if this is just not my thing anymore. And I think I was just holding on to it because I knew it had that memory. But now when we look in here, here. It looks still pretty full, but there are a lot of empty hangers just in between everything. I just like went through and picked out a bunch of stuff. I think next let's tackle this sweatshirt situation because it's overflowing. No one needs this many sweatshirts or pullovers. Let's get brutal. I was not as brutal as I needed to be with my sweatshirt collection. <laughs> I take a lot of pride in my loungewear and I liked everything in there. So it's staying. I'm just gonna go through this one real quick off camera and then I'm gonna find places with all of this newfound space and hangers for all of this stuff. But we're doing well. I am shocked. Again, I always say there shouldn't be too much that I'm gonna clear out, but it's amazing how much we accumulate. It's so crazy. And I also realize I must have not done this for so long because because there are things here that I think are from more than a year and a half ago. Maybe, maybe a little more than that. All right, here's what the pile is looking like after that bin. And that just means we have one final step, which is putting away and finding homes for all of this stuff that we now love. freaking kidding me. Just having this corner of our room cleared. I kept the blankets because honestly I like the look of the blankets and we switch between that and our like big heavy comforter in the spring anyway. So those are usually there anyway, but oh, this feels incredible. Everything in my closet and my wardrobe, I know exactly what is in there now since I've gone through everything. So I'm reminded of stuff that I'll probably wear more often now 
now. Like there are these Target sweaters that I got for like 20 bucks and I never reach for them. Like I kind of see them when I open the closet, but now that I've like purposely gone through everything and picked what to keep and what to not keep, I feel like I have a much better idea of what's in the closet and I even have some hangers left over over here. And that's after adding everything back in that I got in the last couple of months. It doesn't look overstuffed. Like it's a full closet, but there's easily space in between the hangers and stuff like that, which I really like to see. I just know that everything in that wardrobe is things that I am constantly wearing and it's just been pared down, which is just awesome. And then look at this massive bag. Here's my hand for comparison, this thing. I can't even lift it. I'm gonna have to have Jack come lift it into our Goodwill section of our house. That will just like start putting things in when we're feeling like clearing stuff out. Oh my Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. My hair looks like it's been through it as well. <laughs> it's not even like that took all day. That was not an all day task. Jack and I got back from the gym at like 12.30 or so and I think I started around one and it's only 2.30. This was like an hour and a half task and I ate lunch in between there so it's probably less time. But I worked it up to be a full day task. I was like, oh, I don't wanna spend my full day doing this but it's so worth it, an hour and a half to two hours depending on your situation. To just have a cleared space. This, it's priceless. Just do it. Get started and then the momentum will get you through. But anyways, my friends, that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got the motivation that you were looking for for a potential task you've been putting off in your own home. If you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so down below because I upload videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. Everybody do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one, my friends. We'll see you later. Bye. Never rings in California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same